Welcome. We are the Goo Tubers. Don't ask about the name. Today we embark on a journey to uncover the truth behind the mysterious being feared by the residents of Hagglefish. Ooh. Known by many names, such as the Squid Reaper, the Inkwraith, the Hagglefish Spectre, and most popular, the Splat Reaper. Sightings date back to the very founding of the Hagglefish Markets. When was that? The very founding of Hagglefish Markets. And how old is Hagglefish Markets? Quite a while. I don't think cameras were a thing back then. Or Dang at least it. popular. Dang it, now we'll never know. <laughs> Hundreds of sightings from vendors and patrons alike describe a shadowy figure cloaked in a starry black robe or dress. Eerie green tendrils growing from its skull-like face as it wields a Splatana Wiper. It's worth noting that patrons rarely catch a glimpse of the Reaper's blade. However, vendors almost always do, leading some to believe that the spirit is angered by those profiting off of the once peaceful Hagglefish. Many disappearances have been linked to the Reaper, including Jelena Glimmer, Elara Surge, and the notorious businessman of the underworld, Marcus Goldfin. A jelly down on her luck, Hagglefish vendor Jelena Glimmer often had to run her stall through the night just to get by. One night two years ago, patrons found her stall completely empty. She had vanished without a trace. A full investigation was quickly launched. The search lasted three days, but she was never seen again. The only clue was a small torn piece of black cloth with a quote, sparkling pattern often believed to be a calling card of the Reaper. Authorities found no evidence of foul play, but the lingering cloth hints at the work of the Reaper. Yet, skepticism still surrounds this mystery. Yeah. I doubt that. Not that you I have. doubt that skepticism <laughs> surrounds the mystery. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a pretty know. open and shut case. <laughs> Clearly what happened was this lady walked out the door and nobody ever saw her again. Eight years ago, Elara Surge, a powerful businesswoman who controlled a significant portion of the fish market, vanished mysteriously. Elara had skipped an important meeting that would have expanded her control, prompting her associates to check her office and home. Nothing. After two days with no sign of her, authorities were notified, and the search for Elara began. It took him two days to call the cops? I mean, I guess it's not necessarily out of the ordinary for someone to not show up for work for two days, I guess? I mean, depends on the person. In this particular case, I, I would have thought it would have been suspicious enough that you, you know, call the authorities right yeah. away. Well, these people did. The investigation traced her last known location to the pier. All they could find was a pair of sunglasses, thought to belong to Alara, and in close proximity, a small cloth. The exact details of this cloth were never made public. She was never found. Some believe the cloth was the Reaper's calling card, though others suggest it could simply have been part of a jacket. Marcus Goldfin, a man whose underworld dealings could be a video of their own, was once an impossible man to pin down. Despite multiple attempts, charges against him always seemed to vanish. Witnesses changed their stories, and evidence disappeared. However, five years ago, authorities had irrefutable evidence linking him to illegal trade and money laundering. A hard man to track, Goldfin's exact whereabouts were never the clearest. But the police got a tip. He was seen in the Hagglefish area. A search was launched, but there was no trace, no leads, nothing. It was as if he evaporated into thin air. His empire of influence and illegal dealings dissolved with him. Soon, his loyalists scattered. Business ownership changed, and every sign of his operations faded. He was gone leaving only questions and a gaping void where his empire once stood. 
Recently, new footage has surfaced, supposedly showing just what happened that fateful night. Many believe the video contains the only known image of the Splat Reaper, but others argue the footage is doctored. Jeez. Spooky stuff. No way that's real. That can't possibly be real. What makes you say that? We literally saw him disappear into nothing, which is impossible. With a flash of green light, though. Yes, that's more but possible, that doesn't yeah? change anything. He just disappeared. That's physically impossible. Debates rage on about the authenticity of the video, but no one has been able to provide a definitive answer. One question remains. Was this a staged act, or is the Splat Reaper more than just myth? When did this video surface? That's the important question. The video surfaced roughly a year ago. That's Supposedly of leaked by a security guard who worked there because the police weren't giving him the time of day. Supposedly, huh? I'm just saying there's plenty of time for somebody to, like, make an edit. Four years is a long time. Anyhow, with these mysteries behind us, let's go over some of the theories. Ooh, theory time. I like theories. thinking. <laughs> Perhaps the darkest theory surrounding the Splat Reaper suggests that it is tied to the very founding of the Hagglefish Market. The story goes that the market's founder, a visionary entrepreneur, vanished under mysterious circumstances soon after establishing the bustling markets. Rumors at the time hinted at foul play, with whispers that their own business associates may have betrayed them in a bid for power and control. Some believe the founder was double-crossed and became the supernatural force that now haunts the market, seeking revenge against those who reflect the greed and treachery that led to their downfall. However, others insist that the Founder was the first known victim of the Reaper, stating that if the Founder was the Reaper, then victims like Jelena Glimmer don't align with the pattern of a betrayed soul seeking vengeance. Supporters of this theory often point to the striking description of the Reaper's starry black robe, which they believe resembles the elaborate garb the Founder once wore. Is this a clue to the Reaper's true identity, or merely a coincidence passed down through legend? Another theory posits that the Splat Reaper is not merely a spirit or supernatural being, but rather a cosmic entity from beyond the stars. There is I mean, I've seen gone. the stars. I'm pretty sure there's nothing up there. <laughs> yeah, they're just hot gas. Kind of like you. Shut <laughs> up! Supporters of this theory point to the Reaper's eerie, starry appearance, suggesting that it resembles the vast cosmos itself. This view implies that the Reaper may not be a force of vengeance, but merely a cosmic overseer, judging the actions of those who thrive in the market. What, what are the odds that this Reaper is a guy in a mask? There was one theory that I declined to put in this script because I thought it was too stupid. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That kind of fits what you're saying. <laughs> Some people believe it's ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I believe it. <laughs> Some locals believe that the Splat Reaper is an embodiment of the Hagglefish market itself, a spirit that reflects the market's chaotic nature, as the market has shifted from its once peaceful origins to a place dominated by greed and ambition. The Reaper emerges as a manifestation of the spirit's anger. It acts as a punisher for those who exploit the chaos and disregard the values that once defined Hagglefish. In this view, the Reaper serves as both a protector of the market's legacy and a vengeful spirit, 
targeting individuals whose actions betray the spirit of cooperation Hagglefish was founded upon. How could a landmass spontaneously make spirits angry at the people using it wrong? Some believe that, like, enough people existing in an area can create a spirit to, like, watch over said area. I believe it's something out there. Maybe just a guy in a mask. Ninjas. <laughs> ninjas. It's always ninjas. It's always ninjas. Always. <laughs>